In our modern world, ensuring your data is secure can be a real challenge. This is why we've created a range of pin-authenticated, hardware-encrypted hard drives and solid-state drives, powered by Edge technology. The Disk Assure Pro 2 features real-time military-grade hardware encryption, uniquely featuring a dedicated, hardware-based, onboard secure microprocessor to enhance security through true random number generation and built-in cryptography. The processor is physically protected from external tempering, is designed to bypass laser attacks, fault injections, and thwarts all forms of tempering and hacking methods. Once the drive is locked, only the correct pin can decrypt your data. If the pin is input incorrectly 15 times, the drive is wiped and reset, ensuring your data never ends up in the wrong hands. With dual-layer encryption of both your data and the encryption key, all of your personal and sensitive data is protected. When GDPR is enforced in May 2018, you could face fines of 20 million euro or 4% of your organization's global turnover if you lose an unencrypted data storage device with customer data. However, if you lose one of our drives, you won't even need to report it. The Disk Assure range reacts to an automated attack by entering a deadlock frozen state, rendering all such attacks as useless. Without your secure PIN, there's no way your personal data can
So I'm going to take a real quick look at the uh, Buffalo NFC Extreme Drive. This is an encrypted drive. It can be run unencrypted, but this one is set up to be encrypted. Let's take a look at how this works. So I'm going to plug it in, and first thing we'll do is pop up, and it'll show me that it's only got about a 200 megabyte partition here. All this really has on it is the software to use to unlock the drive. So we're running Windows. I'm going to use the Windows version of it here. I'm going to take my security card that ships with the drive and see that that unlocks the drive. Authentication is successful. And now it should pop up. Now we can see that I have a full two terabytes. I don't have anything stored on this drive, but that's fine. So all I have to do is unplug it, and it'll be locked again. Now you can use a different NFC card if you want. This will work with um, other third party. It doesn't have to be this card. Also, in some cases, and we're going to change its authentication method here. So I want to demonstrate. So I'm going to change smart card or mobile device. Some mobile devices will work, some won't. So first I have to give it the card that was already registered to it. Now I'm going to try my phone. And my phone works. So it now can be unlocked by my phone. So if we take a look. Locked, set my phone on it. And it's unlocking. There, once again, let's see a blank drive. <coughs> so, again, you don't have to use this card. We ship a card with it that will work with it. Some mobile devices will work, some won't. If you're going to try your mobile device, make sure you have NFC turned on on the, on the phone. Uh, this is the latest Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, I know that it works. I know that some of the older Galaxies won't. But uh, as far as which phones will and which phones won't, I'm not certain. But uh, if you want to try it, give it a try. All right. Thank you.